when I was a teenager had gone to a party and I had a number of my friends all come up and say, hey, listen, you know, there's this guy and he's telling everybody he's going to beat you up tonight. He's telling everybody that as soon as he sees you, he's just going to go after you. And I thought, well, that's okay with me. See, I've been taking karate, and the kind of karate I've been taking, I know I can outblock him, I can reverse punch him, back knuckle him, side kick him, and, and then step back in my stance, I'll be just fine. But then the more I waited for it to happen, the more time I had to think, and I realized, wait a minute, what I've been learning is all about rules and regulations and judges and referees and time limits and so on. And this is a real thing. This is a street fight. And I'm not prepared for it. So things worked out. But I went home and I was really dejected. I ended up quitting karate at that point because I realized I want something that works in the street. I want something where anything goes, there are no rules, there are no regulations, and it's all designed to be offensive, and it's designed so you win. So I sat around for maybe two, three months, just moping, and then one day somebody gave me a business card, and on the card it said, Kung Fu San Su, the Chinese art of self-defense. Well, this is back in the 60s, so I show it to the person who gave it to me, I go, what's this Kung Fu San Su? I've never heard of Kung Fu. And they said, well, they, I went by the studio and the guy gave it to me. And he says, it's not like the karate you took. It's more for fighting. By the way, he uh, is expecting you tomorrow at 10 a.m. And he wants to talk to you. So I thought, oh, great. I don't want to go. But I did end up going. I walked in and I met a very nice man, kind of reddish, sandy hair. His name was Frank Woolsey. I did not realize the minute I walked into his studio, it would have a life-changing effect on me for over 40 years. I talked to Frank. He told me, hey, listen, why don't you come back this evening? You'll see what we do. Well, that evening, I came and I watched his class, and I saw these people. One would uh, simulate an attack on the other, and the other would block the punch or duck the punch or step into the person. They'd go into a flurry of moves, punches, kicks, palms, backhands, even pulling the hair and biting. I mean, it was like anything goes. And I went, this is it. This is what I'm looking for. This is street sense, street reality. This is what I want. So I began training with Frank and over a period of time, I eventually left him and I went to the studio of a man named Jimmy Wu. Jimmy was in Almani and he had been Frank's instructor, but more importantly, Jimmy had brought the art of Sansu to the United States from China. Well, when the men I began training with Jimmy, there began a very close relationship with him. And in time, I had earned my black belt, my first degree, second degree, third degree, fourth degree, fifth degree, sixth degree, seventh degree. And finally, over time, I was awarded the very coveted and prestigious master of San Tzu. In fact, today, I'm one of the few masters trained directly under Jimmy who are active in this art. The thing about this art is if you're a man and you have a family, it can teach you how to protect them and protect yourself. If you have a daughter or if you're a young lady or a grown woman, it can give you a base understanding of how to protect yourself if you're attacked. If you have small children, the children can learn not only self-defense and how to protect themselves from a bully or even a kidnapper, but they also learn such things as confidence, self-respect, motivation, respect towards others, and so on. Now, my name is Sam Silva, and I teach here at Calvary Chapel, the Chino Valley. Our classes are Tuesday and Thursday, 6 o'clock for kids ages 8 to 12, 7 o'clock for adults 12 and above. The price is ridiculously cheap. Kids $40, adults $50 per month. Month by month, there are no contracts. You're not locked in. So you may say to yourself, why is it so cheap? Well, the answer is it's a ministry of our church. Do you have to belong to our church? Are we going to try and get you to join our church? The answer is no. It's open to the community. If you ever use it to protect yourself or someone you love or one of your children use it or a young lady or grown lady, whatever, and it protects you, then, hey, that's what we are happy about. So feel free to come and visit us anytime you like.
check us out. And if you have any questions, be more than happy to answer them at that time.